Vicki Robbins and Joe Dominguez wrote a best-selling book a few years ago entitled, Your Money or Your Life. And in the book, they recounted their own personal story of how they decided to get out of the rat race, to quit their jobs, and live on $6,000 a year of investment income so that they could pursue their real passion of participating in charitable work. They wanted to be free from having to earn a living so that they could give themselves to volunteer service. Now, it's not a Christian book per se, but there's a compelling message in that book for every Christian. The fact is there are many Christians who are working at jobs they cannot stand to buy things they do not need in order to impress people they really don't like. <laughs> Maybe you're one of those people. But you know, God has a purpose for your life. We saw a couple of weeks ago. A purpose that extends beyond mere consumerism. God has a unique purpose for your life and for my life. And that means money is not the end. Consumerism is not the end. Money is simply the means to the end to give us the freedom we need to fulfill God's will for our life. The goal of every Christian, as we saw last week, should be simply to have enough money to help us do what God has called us to do. In fact, that word enough is a great goal for every Christian. Turn over to Proverbs chapter 30 for just a moment. The writer gives us very clearly what should be the financial goal for every Christian. The writer says, two things I ask of thee, do not refuse me before I die, Keep deception and lies far from me. And here it is. Give me neither poverty nor riches, but feed me with the food that is my portion. Lest I be full and deny thee and say, who is the Lord? Or lest I be in want and steal and profane the name of my God. Do you hear what he's saying? He's saying, God, don't give me so much money that I forget my need for you. But don't give me too little money that I'd be tempted to do something that would profane your name Give me just what I need. That's the goal for every Christian. 